Okay, everybody. I'm Elle with High Reality. And today, I wanted to make a different type of video and document a few important uh, things about me personally. And um, I want to make people aware of scoliosis because I live with scoliosis and it is really, really um, hard, difficult every day. Um, I mean, first, I was 11 years old and not my doctors, no doctors, my cousin, my cousin noticed that my shoulder blades looked weird and um, went to the doctor, I'll, mind you I'm only 11 right, how am I supposed to know about these things and the pediatrician goes yeah you're gonna need severe surgery right away yeah and I'm like what are you are you serious have you did you not notice what's wrong with me and it was a total mind trip I was only 12 it was August 4th 1999 I will never forget that date had insane surgery in my back in my spine it was really severe so when you have a normal back and no scoliosis that means your spine is obviously you know it's straight that means it's at zero degrees okay mine whoo mine was literally an S it was literally an S shape and it was like twisted. Um, it still is. It's all twisted still. It's not like they can fully correct it on my lower spine. So that means my torso is twisted and yeah, it's intense. Um, they put in two titanium rods, 14 pins and screws in my spine. I'm going to show you my x-rays because they're very educational to anybody who has kids before the age 10 or 11. You seriously, seriously need to make sure because I will go more into detail right after I show you my x-rays about how horrible of a struggle this is living with it. And a lot of people don't believe me. And a lot of people actually think she doesn't look disabled. I mean, I, I, I am disabled. I don't look it exactly because it's all in, internal. So here is... the side view like if you're looking at me like this here is the side view of my x-ray I know it's hard to tell but there you can see the two rods, pins, screws, all up in there. That's the side view. Oh, another side view. My neck it goes right under my neck. It starts right under there. 
And this is if you're looking straight at my back. It's like some Wolverine X-23 shit right here. Felt like an experimentation when I was only 12 years old terrified the crap out of me it still does every day every day I'm terrified I feel like I'll make a wrong move and I'm done for because it's your spine <laughs> and that's not even the half of it I'm in a lot of pain all the time which is why now I'm disabled and I'm turning 30 on July 3rd I'm only 30 <sighs> I can't work anymore well at the moment I can't we're working on getting my disability at the moment right now so <clears throat> So, saying all that, when I was 12, basically I was, you know, this is what I call surgery, involuntary stabbing. You know, it's, it's just, it damages your nerves already from cutting into you, and it's over once you have foreign objects hardware that's what they call my stuff in my spine hardware oh uh, so when I was 12 basically pain meds painkillers like Vicodin any opiates that was basically forced upon my body because of the surgery and the pain that I'm in so, I was 12, and now I'm 30, let's say almost 18 years, not the whole 18 years, like I'd say maybe a good decade I, I wasn't on any pain medicine, thank God, but more recently, I, w I have been on painkillers because I was trying to live a normal life, work, and be normal like everyone else. Which is what the doctor said. Which is what the surgeon said to me. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you know, you're good. Just don't do anything extreme. Like snowboarding or anything like that. I'm like, yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to risk my, uh, my death by that. So. Oh, boy. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to describe. Sometimes I feel, you know, like an old lady. And that's not what I want. You know, I'm only 30. My liver has taken a beating because of these meds. And the reason why I'm doing this video is so I can warn anybody to make sure your child does not have scoliosis and go through the same struggle that I have been going through for over a decade. Working made my body worse. And in 2015, I had to have right knee surgery. So that's two so far. Two surgeries. So that affected my left knee. So both knees, including my back too, really, really frustrating. Beyond frustrating. Oh man. Yeah, so that's that's what I deal with on a daily basis. Sometimes I have pain that's terrifying. 
random pain. I also have fibromyalgia as well. Great. Like I needed that on top of everything. But I really want to get this video out because this is really important health wise. I'm talking to you, government. Help me out, please. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up because <clears throat> I'm really low tech. I don't have, you know, that much memory or whatever on this phone. I want to give you guys my Instagram. You know, if you want to direct message me, you can. If you want to talk, I have nothing else to do like I just explained. Well, here you go. Here is my Instagram. You can pause it if you want. Scott Tic Tac Lang. I know it's a silly name, but I made it up. And I love, see I have this um, shield maiden braid going on. Woo! My Vikings, Ragnar, and Rolo. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm out. And this has been High Reality Podev to any of my fellow Armenians out there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational at all. Okay. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for watching. Alright. See you next time. Bye.